Torina Prova. GG. <laughs> I hope so you enjoy with the game. This is the next game. Bishop F4, along the system. We don't need to pay so much attention, but ninety two is the better move order uh, along with that. And Bishop F5, uh, there we go. There are a few lines, what are good here for white. I took on C5. But now, there is a little problem. I forgot what was the correct capture on B3. What do you think so is the... Uh, well, the, the, this opponent is weak. But the next one is 11 times champion of my country. So, uh, you're going to see how to beat such a champion in less than 20 moves. By black, by black pieces. She just blundered in the end. It was too, yeah, too the end, the entrance. Let's say the entrance of middle game part. So you gonna enjoy with the game. Here, do you know what's the most correct capture? I think is better, intuitively. I was confident that it's not XB3. It was a special prep, of course, but I just forget about uh, my, my preparation. Uh, so I took a sabotage. I took by my knight, yes, in, intuitively, like, like exactly like sabotage. Hey, Dick, how are you doing? But it's not correct. 8XB3 is a forcing way to get better. Uh, it's a team team championship in my country. So, if I have to show you this line, it's 8xb3 after e5. Um, they play e5 just to take back this, otherwise I have b4. So, now b4, and there are about two moves. Bishop b6, uh, bishop, bishop b6, bishop d6, or bishop b6. I just tried to eliminate the knight and winning back e5 uh, good early morning what a way to start oh you have really vacation oh <laughs> nice nice you had you had a rest two weeks so you have to get up at 5 a.m yeah 5 30 come on 5 30 um at least you can watch me from the bat. I cannot stream from the bat, you know? I have to get up and be ready for the stream. To talk, to open my mouth. And you can simply watch me from... Uh, from the bat and st still lay down. Or drink your coffee. With pleasure. Bishop d6 covering the comb. Knight f3. I'm just showing you the line what I prepare. And do you know what? I just played four OTB games. Curious or not, the last game was the same opening question. The same opening question game. So if I didn't analyze this mistake in this game, because I captured with the knight, I wasn't supposed to win maybe the last game. So I was super well prepared in the last game. Bad lightning. <laughs> okay, now B5. We'll keep going here. E4. It's good to know that that move. I messed up, by the way, in my game. Uh, the, the last one. I told you it's the same opening part. Same London. E4. Bishop takes. Destroy the center is a really, really good strategy. White. F5. Bishop C4. And this is the line what I uh, have to know. I took with the knight in B3. And now what's happened? E5. You know what? I thought I was winning. I play as confident as possible that I was, I was winning here. Yeah. Actually, I knew, I felt that something is wrong. <laughs> but, okay, so bishop e6. Now, the precise move of black here, I'm totally not okay. I think several times she had about plus two by black, yes. 
The queen said castle here, I can pin the knight and keep some pressure. Bishop g6, so she's ready to take back this in uh, several ways. Bishop b6. Bishop b5 pin. F6. Now she looks totally fine. I keep going with a knight a5, which looks like very very natural moment to to take the knight to destroy her position not uh, let her to take c5 um i don't have b4 because losing that but i thought this pressure against the knight is pretty strong because i'm attacking both pawn and knight i don't think so defense is so easy but i knew i knew that some move could bring me trouble she used to play king d7 Let's go back for a, for a second to show you the correct move. Here is a f4. Not the fact that I'm winning, but uh, this is the move. This is the logical. This is the correct uh, correct chess move. Let's say correct chess move. F4 break through as fast as possible. Because if I let her to stay so comfortable in the center situation, will be not so great for me. <laughs> I have to break through because after she captures, she even if she take back c5, d5 will be isolated pawn. This is the old plan. f4 is amazing, yeah. I don't care about give up the bishop. So it's all about after after this position to continue the game, fighting against the isolated pawn and get the chance uh, at least game number two to make a castle on move 15. <laughs> because game game number one, I couldn't make castle. Uh, I didn't play f4, I played knight a5. And now she used to play king d7. I thought I'm winning here, just in one move. But, okay, let's looking for the better response for black. Better response for black. If you're bla black chat here, what will be the move to survive here by black? Show me. How black could have plus one, plus one, with a position like that, with pawn down? How this is ever possible? Maybe mentally, I didn't think about that I was so bad. First it was plus one, then become plus two for her. I said castle, it is possible. But maybe there are about several checks. Bishop d7 is losing the d5 pawn. Wizard castle link is uh, generating pin. I, I, would be, I, I would still capture c6 no? after queen said castle. I saw the move in the game, mm -hmm. yeah, I saw the move in the game, but I said, okay, maybe she will not play it. <laughs> Very stupid strategy. Uh, I was bluffing, like, I knew the move, a6, could bring me troubles, but let's say I still didn't trust that a6 is working, come on, what the hell is a6? Everything is hanging and she's going to play a6? Um, but a6 is plus one for black. Pawn down, plus one for black. Underpin, plus one for black. Let me see why. a6, if bishop takes e6, pawn takes e6. If I ever take the pawn, after a5, this knight soon could wondering where you should go for. b4 again, I, they can first take on c3. Not really working. So, in short, after after winning that, even after move like king d7, I can simply ask you where do you go? <laughs> yeah, very very stupid, very bad strategy uh, to ask yourself during the OTP game. Maybe she will not see it. Yeah, uh, come on, this is not blitz or rapid. You don't care, you know. Uh, this is classical chess, uh, what I'm uh, investing most of my energy there. 
Uh, okay, so now white is very bad. White is very bad. Let's check out different scenario like bishop a4, knight takes c5, attacking the bishop. Excellent counter attack. And now she's even ready to push that pawn, take here. I mean, I couldn't find a way how to how to survive here. So if there is a, this kind of capture, there is a takes b5. And this is the line where she has close to plus 2 because the knight on c6 is almost trapped. Uh, knight b4, only one move. And now everything is working for black. Everything. This is plus 2 for black. Why? Bam, bam. Eliminate that. A3, only one move. Okay, let's say king f7. And black is having fantastic center. Fantastic center. Look at that. Bishop pair. Fantastic center. Well, the only one weakness of black is uh, our double pawns on the b file. But this is, uh, this is totally okay. Now she can even start bothering me here because I'm still not the fellow. Hey here, Omoram. Good morning. How are you doing? Oh, this kind of move. Yeah. Where do you go? Yeah. So now again ocean of tactics if we go to this line ocean of tactics let's say rook d2 gonna be the simplest one but i can vote for a bishop b3 some patterns here if there's a pawn takes there's a rook a8 another checkmate here with a bishop b3 um king c2 this is still working to generate a pin the other case also bishop f5 plus six plus six for black plus six um amazing move okay eight by the way if there is a c takes b3 then then we can go to your line yeah but oh, your line I, I i can play knight f3 not knight e2 covering the check me check simple check so if there is a king b1 boom check here boom check me so if there's a king d1 there is a check King e2, check, king e1, and something, yeah, something. <laughs> if you go up, let's say, I uh, smell the checkmate here, it has to be like f5, knight g5, looks checkmate, bishop d5 looks dangerous, knight d2 also looks winning. Not really domination, look at these pieces. Second game, I couldn't make a castle on time. And this could be catastrophic because this girl don't want to share what's her rating don't want to share i don't want to share i don't want to share this a6 in general white is having trash position after h6 she didn't go for that king d7 and now chat now What's the most logical move here by white? I can ask you if this pawn is acceptable. I'm gonna I I I'm gonna give you a chance to uh, win channel points. I'm gonna give you 10 minutes. I, I, I will explain after you gave me variations why. This is prediction, just 10 minutes, so feel free to invest your channel points to show me if the pawn b7 is acceptable or not currently. So, yeah. I think it's a pretty interesting situation. And feel free to show me why it's acceptable or why it's not acceptable, what's wrong if you take it, or what 
what's the good line if you take it uh try to figure out i'm already extra pawn i'm already extra pawn b7 could be second extra pawn and if you can escape the knight maybe everything is okay maybe not so if you if you click on yes into the prediction try to share why click no also try to share why I told you I was bluffing all my game. I was bluffing all my game that she is not supposed to see that, or I was confident that if there's no a6, I was totally winning. Because we're gonna already vote, I'm gonna give you a hint that I was thinking exactly like him. I was thinking exactly like him. But I will waiting for the prediction to finish and then share with you what is the engine thinking. and C4. Actually, you have the same problem. After a6, it's your turn. After a6, you're gonna be in huge trouble because bishop a4, knight takes c5. I already show you that problems uh, by by y. So if there is a knight e2, maybe there is a uh, a6. The same problem. Maybe not the same, maybe less, but c4 break through. Okay, we're gonna analyze all these moves. Just feel free to predict yes or no, if we can uh, capture b7 or not. This is one of the most interesting moments mo moment in the game, by the way. Stand up. Oh.
Okay, and we have a good prediction. So, um, yeah, yeah, I don't, oh, you didn't see, you didn't uh, chat anything new. Okay, let's go. Let's go to clear the prediction. Show you why. I told you I thought like Wagner. So the answer is pawn is not acceptable, chat. I my move in the game, my move in the game was knight xb7. And now the problem is rook b8. Uh, I took here. This is happening in the game. I escaped the knight, but now she did the wrong move, like king b5. So now, if black simply play move like king b7, this is under pressure. This is under pressure. This is under pressure. And as Wagner thought, knight b3 is okay. I also think like that. But after a a5, white is having huge problems around the queen side part. I have similar problem like the round one. I couldn't make castle. I play more aggressively into this uh, way mood. You are still in the center. The king is still in the center. King side pieces are still not developed. And I have more problems because black is threatening a4 and hard to develop hard to cover everything on the queen side part so after e5 <laughs> no idea where i can go but i can lose the bishop pair uh black can take back the pawn and it's over plus one for black 1.5 something like that so i totally let's say miscalculate move like a5 and a4 c4 okay um a4 is still on the way if we counter attack here black is almost winning after bishop g4 let's say maybe another counter attack i uh, they just take here if we take the bishop they just take here this one is coming well two pawns but they're, they're easy to be fixed also this is a good pawn chain against the bishop um i don't need to spend my energy to take the bishop if you push i come here you push this one it's nothing it, it's easy to be fixed and uh i want to go here and here it's a very simple strategy of black so even with having such a strong center again the evaluation of the position um if you go deeper is easier but if you are in the game and you didn't realize how weak could be your situation on the queen side part if you don't play f4 before that what we uh talk about um the correct move here the correct move here could be f3 never play f3 never play f6 but in this case is uh is okay totally okay so if there's a knight xc5 now um different scenario like totally this scenario totally eliminate the knight from the center knight a6 now losing a piece so where this knight should go for i never think about trap this knight because king d7 was really bad move a6 bam bam extra piece this will be a different situation um whatever he's doing i i just win the knight f3 so if there is a knight takes g3 here are on one move probably when this knight is not anymore here i can i can think about the same because maybe i will develop faster when um uh, when there is a space for my rook like that and space for the knight too or I can just try to hold on the pawn. If bishop takes e5, 
this now is working because counter attack the bishop, bishop b6 trying to trap the knight and win it it's also not easy but now we have a counter attack in the center like this like this way as you said e4 is stronger for some reason probably we need to stay connected on the queen side part and having in advance the connected pass pawns huge domination huge uh pawn majority on the queen side part that's why e4 not c4 is the only one reason difference between e4 good counterattack. otherwise the knight on b7 is also trapped this is what i was worried about in the game um <laughs> feeling sad for Dorina. <laughs> this is not a not that good game, but don't worry, the next two games are very good. Take c6, king takes c6, knight a5 check. This is the game I told you. King b5. It's still not super bad for, for black. Knight b3, uh a5. She did a mistake like a5. She has to simply take the pawn. It's still okay for her. We should take c5 still okay a5 um knight f3 i was uh worried about this kind of line if it take on b8 that there is a continuation like like this way discover attack and then even lose that and i'm still not developed so um i have uh, some more weak squares around my king probably it's winning but i was uh, worried about that that's why i just played knight f3 and she totally blunder a4 and then make like this
Right. Mm. <clears throat> thank you, thank you, thank you, Wagner. See you. So, of course, now uh, <laughs> she totally blundered at me. I was uh, hoping for that, of course. <laughs> hoping again for silly mistakes. Maybe this is the wrong approach, what uh, very often we, we, we do, chat. The wrong approach uh, it's when you play against super weaker opponent, you're hoping for silly mistakes. Every time I explain this is a very bad strategy. Knight bd4, yeah. Mm -hmm. Followed by that. Either followed by that, of course. Take the rook, don't forget about that, it's weak. So this game was on 19 moves, 19 moves. By the way, if she didn't play a4, good to mention, good to mention that king a6 and black is better. I still can come here, but she can simply take now the bishop. It, when this is not checked, uh, this is not really fine to go there. Mm, it's happening the same to this. Mm, if I ever make a castle, there is an A4. Now could be um, kind of drawish because well ninety one. It's such a position to play ninety one. I think uh, I will never find out that move in my life. Take here again ninety one. Wow. Maybe I don't really have time to take the bishop because this pawn is coming. So even if I go for the two knights against the rook in general, this has to be winning, but not in this case because the pawn is coming very very fast. Just look here and push to the end, it's over for me. <laughs> um, so I think it's hard to find out that knight e1 in this case is okay for white. So b1, 3 something, I did 3. But by the way, here I play all the time for a draw. One time, check. Check is lost, king b5. Look at such a monster king, monster king. Monster King. Yeah, I also moved to little breakfast because some stomach pain. If you drink only coffee, good to have something little around. Like brie. This is my favorite cheese, brie. Mm. So, very complicated position here because of the Monster King. A2 is coming. So, by the way, if I don't go there, a little before I cannot really stop a4. <clears throat> but if I don't go there, if I play move like that, c1, I don't know. Rook takes b2, and it's about plus 2 for her. She totally destroyed me here. <laughs> so, no comment, no comment. <laughs> A4 
F9 D2. It's going to be the same. First could capture here, and then could capture here. It's over. Mm. If we go play that just to, to block out rook b2 after a4, knight a1, oh my gosh. Black is again winning here, oh my gosh, so. And just simple chess, bishop takes c5 is enough for advantage, huge advantage. Mm. Yeah, yeah. When the game is not so in the correct move order into the correct development. When you take such a pawn, I think everything starts from knight a5, this thread, and then everything starts from the prediction what I was asking you. Knight takes b7. Mm, then you can struggle, then you can struggle. Position was very ugly, but thanks, thanks, thanks God <laughs> that she blundered. <laughs>